Hi guys, welcome back to the Small Space Big Build project. I'm James Mason, and today we're gonna to be going through the painting stage of the project. So what we're gonna start off with is a couple of these paints here. We've got the Torbman's 3-in-1, which is gonna be used to seal all the plasterboard, so walls and ceilings, that goes on first. And then we're gonna tackle the ceilings. I've got the Torbman's uh, microband, uh, which is basically a mold and uh, moisture and fungus resistant paint. That'll go on all the ceilings everywhere. But prior to doing that, we're gonna run around with the no more gaps and we're gonna use that to seal around all the P50 mold that we've put up the top, just to, just to um, seal up any joints that there may be just prior to painting. So I'm gonna start on the staircase first, get that done so I can pull my uh, scaffold out of the way and then I'll work through the rest of the project, starting in this back room, through the hallway and up into the master bedroom. All right, hope you enjoy the video guys. doing the uh, prep work you just want to make sure the walls are free from dust uh, just from sanding so make sure there's nothing up and around near the areas that you need to fill and all I've got is a, uh, a 10 mil chisel which will fit up in between there and I've got my no more gaps which I'm going to run around and fill any uh, gaps in between the plasterboard and the P50 mold and just a rag in the back pocket to help as well uh, you can always have a little paint scraper just to help knock off any imperfections that you might find, but that's about it. Okay, so the trick for getting a good seal with this P50 is cutting a stick um, just big enough that it'll fit up inside the shadow mold. Shadow mold's 10 mil, so make this you know five or six mil. The reason we make it a little bit smaller is because we take a wet rag, we just fold that over the top, and that's the trick. Once you run the no more gaps along there, it's just a matter of popping that up and running that along to smooth it out. And that just seals any other little joints that may be up there and then we're ready for paint. Now that we've got our sealer coat on the walls and ceilings, we just go through and give it a light sand prior to the second coat. Just takes off any imperfections out of the plasterboard and just gets nice and smooth ready for, uh, for the first coat of colour. Coats on that, 
do a bit of ceiling white, and then come back and do the woodwork as well. So I'll give you a little bit of a quick walkthrough on all the rooms. You can see where, what stage everything's at, and then um, yeah, we'll get you close to being finished. And the painting stage is done. Okay, so starting in the main bedroom here, we've got these French doors that lead out to the main balcony at the front of the room. They still need to be painted up. All the walls and the ceilings throughout this main bed have been undercoated and prepped. Coming into here, off the back of the main room, this is where we're going to have the uh, walk-in robe. Obviously the joinery still needs to go in along this side wall and on that wall there. And then at the back, where we've got this little window, we're going to have a little study nook here, so a desk across there, just a little laptop set up. Okay, so then coming out of the, the main bedroom, Back down the hallway, always the same, all prepped up. Skirtings and architraves need to be done. We've got a cavity sliding door that needs to go on here for the bathroom. The bathroom's gonna be in stage two. We'll be fitting that out, so stay tuned for the next video. Down in through here, we've got the, uh, the staircase void. So I've still got the walls to finish off here. Uh, ceiling's been done, we give those a final coat. Then I'm also gonna paint the treads We've got a pretty funky yellow that we're going to do down there and just on the hall of the floor, floor of the hall for a little while until we get some uh, floorboards in here. And then in this back bedroom off the back, uh, same deal, all undercoated and prepped up, ready to go. Just need to do the uh, ceiling, ceiling white and uh, get all these walls done. And then that's it, a few little touch ups outside on the balcony. And um, yeah, we can move up here and start uh, occupying this space, which will be great. All right, let's get into some final coats. A little tool tip when painting. If you're in between coats, you need to do something without having to wash everything up. You wrap a bit of lab wrap around your paintbrushes and also your roller. It takes a long time to actually wash these rollers out or to wash your brushes out, but you know, if you wrap this up, it just keeps the, uh, the paint sealed inside there. And then, you know, two hours later, a day later, you can peel that off and the paint's still fresh and you can just dip it in the paint and away you go. There you go, little paint tip. A little tip when marking out a plasterboard. Don't use a uh, pen or a, um, a marker because it just bleeds through the paint. You can see here, I've already gone over with the undercoat, it just bleeds straight through. So pencil would be the best thing to mark out with, so my mistake. But if you get that, just give it a couple of coats over before you do a uh, final couple of coats. So you can see a couple of spots over there. I've already prepped that up. And I'll just have to do the same thing here. That'll probably bleed through one more time, but at least then, once we go with our two coats to finish, it should be covered. Okay, so there you have it guys, that's our internal painting complete. So what you're going to see in the next episode coming up will be our carpet installation going in. And that's probably going to be about it up here for our first floor addition. That's the top level done, we've got our two bedrooms, and then our next little project we're going to tackle is our bathroom. So it'll be a couple more episodes away. So stay tuned, there's more episodes to come. And uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, like or subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers guys.